so what's up guys yo what's up guys yeah. so we're here hmm. back again yeah we just <laughs> finished filming a video for yeah. calvin's channel yeah you should see that video you guys should watch I me mean, you guys should watch it Mm -hmm. uh, I hope she will leave on the description. Yeah, below, it's going to be know? the link is going to be yeah. in the description. It's a new channel. Yeah, go and show Calvin some love. I and Calvin, like we made two videos. Yeah, together. yeah, we have been to Yeah, channel, with yeah. him and his friend from Paris. Yeah, and those videos got very good views, yeah. so yeah. you can check it out. Yeah, actually, like I got a lot of I mean of your subscribers. Really? Yeah, that like they came to my channel as well. They were like um saying how they like it wow. and like asking oh how you're doing in the Philippines and stuff like that wow, and awesome. yeah, I really appreciate for the love that I got from yeah, you guys thank you so much once again thank you so much and for those that went to the channel and for those that subscribe I just want to say thank you so yeah. much yeah. so guys today I and Calvin mm -hmm. are going to be talking about reasons why we do not want to leave the <laughs> Philippines yeah, yeah, yeah. guys mm -hmm. Without talking too much, mm -hmm. without further ado, yeah. let's jump right into the video. Mm -hmm. So guys, the number one reason mm -hmm. why I do not want to leave the Philippines, <laughs> I think you guys know <laughs> is because of my Filipino boyfriend. Oh my god! Wow! <laughs> yeah, like, I just found out as well with you guys. When the, I mean the video came out, like I didn't know that you were like uh, dating a Filipino guy. Yeah. So I didn't really know that you were dating Raymond because I used to see him on the channel before. Yeah. And when you came out, like oh we are dating, <laughs> and I, I still remember like I texted like I asked yeah, you, you asked on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, I even asked you on Instagram, and yeah, yeah. like. It's just beautiful, you know, seeing yeah. you happy yeah. as well. I think what counts is really what you guys feel for each, I mean, other. Yeah, for each other, you know, in a relationship, you have ups and downs, yeah. but the only thing is like, the only way yeah. is how you guys face it. But yeah. at, the, at the end of the day, what counts is love. Yeah. If you guys love each other, love can fight anything in the world. Yeah. Yeah. So guys, that is my one number one reason, <laughs> guys, before, I never in my head mm -hmm. or in my life thought that you're gonna stay here. I would date so, a Filipino. So, 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 like I so, would date a Filipino. Really? Okay. Because, guys, I really used to have stereotypes mm -hmm. about Filipino men. Mm -hmm. So I've never seen myself dating a Filipino, and then something led to the other. Boom. I yeah, have a yeah. Filipino boyfriend. You found, you, <laughs> like you found yourself in a relationship. Yeah, like, with actually, a Filipino. Like, I have some Filipino friends and what I just like about it, like it's just how they take care of the girls. You see, it's different. Like yeah. I, I mean, you will only know if you have Filipino friends, you or if you go out with Filipino friends. Like I do have a lot of Filipino friends and I see the way they yeah. treat it, like the re, like the way like they kind you, of value. You don't need yeah. anybody to tell you that this mm -hmm. is this person's yeah. boyfriend mm -hmm. or this is this person's yeah. girlfriend. By the way they act, mm -hmm. by the way they react, yeah. you would know that oh yeah. these two are together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My boyfriend also does the same thing to me. Ah this, this is like, boy. She's, She's really he loud. shows me public display of affection. Yeah, I'm like, no, yeah, what? Yeah, that is. Because, like, I still remember when I was in college, like, going out with my classmates, you know? Yeah. They would be dating girls from other departments. Yeah. Maybe, like, I don't know, like, <laughs> from other departments. And they were like, after school, the guy is just, like, is really waiting for her outside right. yeah. to take her home. Yeah. And I'm like... They would eat together. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, like, during college, when they're about to choose the schedule, yeah. they make sure that the schedule is almost the same. Same thing. In <laughs> fact, if you and your boyfriend are yeah. in the same class, mm -hmm. they make sure they fall in the same class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I have classmates like that. I have boyfriends in the same class. Yeah, and what is good, like, all my classmates, like, right now, most of them, they're married now. Wow. And they're married with my... Class, like the classmates, yeah, they, they met in college. Yeah. They started dating when they were like 18, yeah. and today, like now, they have kids. Even wow. you know, sometimes I would even be going to the house and then just ask, really? talking about yeah, like about the past, our, wow. about college, nice. and everything that we went through, you know. And I feel like just like you are, um, I think, how can I, I mean, how can I put it? If you found yourself dating. Raymond, Raymond, right? Yeah. I hope I pronounced his name right. Yeah. I like Raymond. Raymond. Raymond, sorry. <laughs> Raymond. So it is because you, like you guys really yeah. have feeling for each other, you know? Yeah. Because you coming into social media yeah. and then you say, oh, okay, 
this is my boyfriend. boyfriend. <laughs> I'm dating this guy. You know, like you really need yeah. to have, like, you know, a courage, a, yeah, to be a, sure a courage for you to be that thing. You wouldn't just go or come here to your subscribers yeah. and then just say this guy, okay, I'm dating this guy. And then after a week, you guys are not together no more. And then you will. You will even be like stopping recording yeah. because you're like heartbroken. Yeah. <laughs> you get it? This so good. I'm just happy that you yeah. have as well, you know? Just be yourself, yeah. show love, mm -hmm. and and everything will be fine at the end yeah. of the day. Yeah. If it comes problem and stuff like that, sit down. Yeah. Until like when you guys are calm, you guys can talk yeah. about it, you guys can fix. There's a solution for everything. Yeah. yeah. Wow, well, thank you. Yeah. So guys, Filipinos are so nice yeah. they are so loving mm -hmm. if you have a filipino boyfriend i'm sure you can attest the way filipinos treat mm -hmm. their girlfriends my boyfriend treats me that same way and you know filipino they are just um i think by now i think i should be like the, the maybe i'm the only black <laughs> girl or the nigerian girl who is just a filipino. filipino i don't know if you know any other nigerian or african not black I mean African, not African American. Yeah, uh -huh, yeah. African who is dating a Filipino? Yeah. Let me know in the comment in the section comments, yeah, yeah. because I never know. I only know of one couple who are married. Mm -hmm. And I think you yeah, guys yeah. know are the Ocampo family, the Kenya and the Filipino. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I, uh, I and their marriage was arranged. I, don't know that. I and Raymond's were not arranged. It, it was arranged. Our mind. <laughs> It was really like it was really living in Nigeria, yeah. coming to the Philippines and to study. meet, no, study and meet like the love of, of your, your life. life. Yo, it was not again. Yeah. Nobody joined us together. So I mean, like, so probably I don't know if you guys talk about this or not. After you graduate, what is the next step? <laughs> and like, I think your subscribers yeah. they kind of want to know as well. Yeah. After graduating, after I you stay here. Oh. oh, you guys are living. I won't say like maybe you live. You, you you guys are planning to live somewhere else in another country. Yeah. So after graduating, okay, what is, is the plan? Calvin's question, and uh -huh. I'm going to ask. I'm going to answer him. Mm -hmm. Just my own decision. Uh -huh. I've not asked Raymond, but I've told him a couple of times. After graduating, mm -hmm. I want to leave. You wanna leave? Like to go somewhere else? Oh, Nigeria? Stay, no, not Nigeria. Oh, another oh. country mm -hmm. to stay for a while, mm -hmm. but. Philippines is going to be our home because we'll always come back here, mm -hmm. even often. Mm -hmm. But we see ourselves spending, you know, the most, like, like maybe the most part of our lives mm -hmm. in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Maybe oh, yeah. after we'll, we'll retire or we have kids like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you guys are, so okay, after so. I graduate, I want to go. So, you're, so like, you want to work somewhere else? Yeah. I want and to. hopefully, YouTube one day yeah. we can call. But our, if I am rich on YouTube, yeah, guys, I'm yeah. staying. I'm not yeah, going to yeah. work. The so, only reason why I'm leaving the country is because I need money. <laughs> better. So, like, literally, like, she needs some better. So, if this channel hit at least 2 million subscribers. Uh, guys, I'm done. I'm living in the Philippines. In fact, we are going nowhere. <laughs> so, like, yeah, I mean, where will you want to go again? You're already here. Yeah. You're making number. And you, know, you can live out of YouTube. Yeah. You know, everything. So, guys. Make sure you subscribe. You subscribe. <laughs> yeah. You share this channel with the whole barangay. Yeah. <laughs> Let them know that there is this beautiful Jibu. lady in the Philippines yeah. doing Pinoy yeah. or doing contents here in the Philippines. Yeah. So you make sure you share make with sure the whole barangay. Yeah. So now to Calvin, mm -hmm. why don't you want to leave the Philippines? Why don't you like? And Calvin, you tell them it's because you have a Pinoy girlfriend, right? No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they know that I have a girlfriend. They know. They know that I have a girlfriend. So Calvin also has a. Pinoy girlfriend, yeah. Pinoy girlfriend. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, they know that I have a girlfriend. You know, like yeah. So why I'm like really like um staying here? When I graduated in 2000, what? 19. I graduated 2019. Yeah. I wanted to go home. Wow. But my dad told me, why are you coming? Really? Yeah. There's nothing here. There's not. It's the same yeah, way you it's left it. Don't the, come. Yeah. The same way you left it is the same way it is until today. Why are you gonna come? Mm -hmm. And I was like. Yeah, maybe you got a point. You see, so I had friends working for Portuguese bilingual already by that time. And I was like, okay, maybe I should also try to apply. Yeah. Okay, I got thanks. It was like on my last month of of college. Mm -hmm. So I was able to find, I was able to find a job. Mm -hmm. And until today, I was like, hmm, you can still make a life in here. Yeah. You see, so I was like, until today, like, 
what keeps me here like okay because you can't be in the philippines if you're not working yeah like, this is how i think because mm -hmm. how you're gonna have a visa yeah or maybe if you're if you're starting or if you have your own business or like mm -hmm. a businessman or business woman or something like that okay mm -hmm. that's okay so for me it's like okay i needed to find a job and thanks god i'm working right now so that is one of the things that is also keeping me here yeah. as well and you know like also i have my my girlfriend here too yeah. so she also keeps me to, I mean, yeah. she's also one of the reasons that I'm still here, here. yeah. Because I don't see like mm, going and stuff like that. I feel like I still have a lot of things to do, a lot of things here. I have to experience a lot. And not, it, it is just not about YouTube, you know? Yeah. Because it's like, I found myself in the Philippines, mm -hmm. you see? Because when we came here, we were just like that idea, okay, our parents, they're sending us to the Philippines mm -hmm. for us to study, mm -hmm. graduate, come back home, find a job and help the family. You see, and look at us right now. We are here in front of the camera doing video for YouTube. Yeah. We never thought about this. Never. It wasn't in our pants. No. And even if our people they see this, they will probably think, "Oh, this guy is crazy." Like, <laughs> you get it? Like, I said, yeah. "You're there to study, and then you are making video." Yeah. And thanks because of you guys, we can get something out of so this. this. But it's not really like more about the money, money. and stuff. But it's like us doing what we really love. Yeah. You see. We love cameras, yeah. we love making content, you know. She loves to bring um, videos to you guys, you know, make you happy. Because yeah. at, like, at the end of the day, we don't know how your subscribers, they're feeling, yeah. you know. Probably, I mean, there's someone sad. Yeah. Maybe there's someone that lost a family. Maybe yeah. there's someone watching this video. Yeah. Maybe he or she is in the, in the hospital, we yeah. never know. But once they watch this video, yeah. it kind of motivate them. It makes them happy. So it, it is like a responsibility in which we, we take. Have yeah, we have on our shoulders, that. which is always to give video or to pass concept. happiness yeah, to, to people. Guys. You see, so that's why, like, if you guys really, you know, support us, you know, mm -hmm. by sharing or by even liking, even just a like, you yeah. know, it also help. It motivate us as well yeah. when we get the love from you guys. Yeah. You know, when we get the love because yeah. we don't want to do something that people don't like it. Yeah. You see, if you guys really keep on giving love the way you guys do it and we appreciate it so yeah that's we will... why Calvi does not want to leave the philippines yeah so for me the next reason why i do not want to leave the philippines is because i have looked at all other countries mm -hmm. and i thought to myself which country can show me love like the amount of love i got from, I got the, philippines. from the philippines and i found out that none yeah. you guys i have subscribers from us from all other parts of the world and they keep telling me that oh philippines people they are so kind yeah. they are so loving if you come here you mind your business if you mm -hmm. come here nobody cares about you if no, you come no, here yeah. everybody's about their business but in the philippines there is really love here people really care for you genuinely yeah you are going yeah. to get a few people you know they are going to be like few bad eggs but mm -hmm. nice nine percent of filipinos yeah. are so good yeah. so if i want to stay here with good people why not and now yeah. i even have i have a lot of good filipinos surrounding me like i have my boyfriend mm -hmm. i have my artists everywhere that they show me love they show me care mm -hmm. that is one of the reasons why i also do not want to leave the philippines mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, that's great, you know, because it's like, beside your studies, yeah. you know, you know that, um, how, how can I say, the, I mean, the connection that you have with yeah. the people as well. It is one of the things that, I mean, it makes you stay here. Yeah. Because it's like, they show you love, you yeah. see? And everywhere you will go, you will find people that they won't even like you. Yeah. And you will, you will find people that... That like everywhere, you, you yeah. see. So, but you being here, you know, you know that you have many advantages of you being here. Yeah. You see, it's really like being here. I mean, a lot of people, like I do have a Filipino friends. You know, mm -hmm. some some of them they are in Dubai, some of them they are in Qatar and stuff like that. Yeah. They will be like, bro, are you still there? Yeah, you still there. We live in and like, <laughs> yeah, like we live in the country and then you stay in there, yeah. like, yeah. You see, there are many things here that you just need to yeah. be you know like you you need to have some kind of vision as well yeah. because it's like us as youth 
yeah. you kind of want to make money that fast. Yeah, very fast. Yeah, you see. But it, there's no shortcut to success. There's no, there's no shortcut. There's no. It's like it's either you will really have to grind. Yeah. You really, like have to work hard. You see, yeah. because you can make it in life everywhere. everywhere. You can go to United States. You can make it. Yeah. You can stay here in the Philippines, and you can make, make it. it. It just depends on how motivated and it depends on how dedicated you are. Yes. You see, you just put effort in everything that you do. Calvin, share one more reason why you do not want to leave the Philippines. Uh, I think it's going to be life. I think just the lifestyle, life in general in the Philippines. You, you know, it's not like expensive country and it's not cheap as well because yeah. in here as a foreigner, so we don't have our houses. Yeah. We kind of need to pay rent as well. Monthly? But monthly, which is monthly as well. Yeah. So for me, it's like the lifestyle itself. Yeah. You know, you can survive here, you know. You yeah. can, as long as you like, you have uh, your work. Yeah. You have your way of yeah. you earning your money. You're going to be challenges, yeah. but you will definitely survive. Yeah, survive, yeah. yeah. So yeah, for me, it's like the lifestyle because it's like probably I even have a friend that uh, texted me two days ago. No, it was yesterday. So I was at the gym and he was using the mask. And then he's like, why are you using mask? And I'm like, because of COVID. Because of the pandemic, because of the COVID. And then he was like, he's he's in Texas. He's in, I mean, yeah, Texas. Yeah. Houston. And then he was like, is Philippines first world country or third world country? And I was like, you can search that on Google. <laughs> because it's like, he was just kind of like being silly. <laughs> That's <stupid>. like. <laughs> you know, because it's like, because for them, they, they're not using masks. Really? And, yeah. In US? And I mean, they are using masks, but, but it's not in somehow, in somehow, he just wanted to, to, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. That's, oh, the is better than yeah. Yeah. And I was like, just go on Google. Like, why are you asking yeah. me that? It was like, and why are you still using mask? I'm like, there's a COVID outside. Because I'm in this country, I wouldn't be. So it's yeah. just, so it, it is like, no matter which country you are right now. Yeah. If you are fine with the lifestyle. So there. If you know that, okay, I can pay the rent, I, I have food to eat. And then at the end of the day, you yeah. can still save some something. something for the next month and stuff like that. Yeah. You can make it in, in, in that country. Yeah. You, you don't need to go to California, Las Vegas yeah. for you to make out of And do you life. notice something? Most uh, most American um, experts, mm -hmm. like um, um, people who are retired, mm -hmm. they only they move to the Philippines. Like all of them, because they know that the money they get from their retirements yeah. cannot sustain them in the U.S. So they look for a country mm -hmm. where they can you know, use a little sum of money mm -hmm. and still have a good life. Yeah. And they look at that country and it is the Philippines. Yeah. We have a lot of experts yeah. in, the, in the, Philippines. the Philippines. Yeah. yeah. So, so just to add on my point, I'm not saying that you live in Philippines, it's, it's bad. I'm not yeah. saying that. Don't get me wrong. You can live it. You can chase your dream. Yeah. It depends on you. Yeah, it's all your choice. Like my choice wise, for your me, preference. like our choices, yeah. you must first to stay here. here. Your choice no. can be to go to United States, okay, to go to UK, to, to UK, go to Canada, Canada, Portugal, Dubai. Yeah, and that doesn't mean that our yeah. choices can't change in the future. Yeah, but it for can. now, we just want to be here yeah. now. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. we're telling you our honest opinion about yeah. this country yeah. because we've experienced this country first, and yeah. we know how it is. We live here seven years. Yeah, right? seven years. So. It means yeah. He studied and here, graduated here, 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 he's working here, here now, and me, I just started my life, yeah. I'm just and studying. And I'm about to have the family as well. <laughs> he's about to have the family as well. So, soon or later, you guys will just see a video, okay, I am engaged. Okay. I'm just getting married to my I'm getting married. husband. I'm getting married. So, you guys just get ready. So yeah, guys. get oh, ready, yeah. you never know when, never yeah. say never. <laughs> you never Exactly, you should, you should say never. Like, you never say never. Look at, look at you now. Yeah. She's just here. You, even you can just look at her. The way she is happy. She's just smiling. <laughs> this is all because of love. Right? <laughs> <laughs> this is all because you see. Yeah. It's so beautiful to be in love, right? No, I see. <laughs> Express yourself. Okay. Yes. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, <laughs> which, <laughs> it's, just, <laughs> it's just funny, you know, I love to see people which I love, you know, the yeah. beautiful, you know, like, you, it shows the brightness in which, yeah. like, you, you see, you have, like, you know, yes. you're not moody, you're just happy, you know, everything, you, you see, like, so everything is really nice when you yeah. just love, everything is just nice. 
So the Philippines, it's good. We love the country. We love the people. Mm -hmm. We love the food. Mm -hmm. And one of the reason why I love the Philippines is the food, yeah, guys. The food is good. It's I amazing. think amongst my friends, mm -hmm. I am the only person who eats Filipino food. I am the only person who would rather mm -hmm. buy a Filipino food outside and choose in, a, in my country's food mm -hmm. or some other food. So because of my constant relationship with Filipinos mm -hmm. and because of my constant meeting and staying with them, I am already, you know, into in, the in, food. In, yeah, into the, in, into the cuisine. Yeah, cuisine. so in fact, I know the names. Mm -hmm. When I go to, yeah, for me, like, go to Dubai, yes, I know yeah. the food to choose. I mean, I'm not, for me, like, like the first thing is like, when it comes to food, I'm not really picky. Yeah. I eat whatever I have, yeah. you see? And one of the things in which when we move into a country into an into an, I mean into another country you have to be open minded yeah you have to be open minded for you to adjust Just, yourself you have to because learn. You, so you can't be expecting oh there I was eating grilled chicken yeah now and then here you come the, this fried chicken yeah you can't eat fried chicken because it's not grilled Good. You, you just like adjust yourself, yeah, you, have you know, to adjust. adjust yourself because once you adjust yourself, that is the way how you will feel like the country is really, like is really accepting you. Yeah. You see, because it's like, like imagine like... The country will not adjust itself to suit you. In, yeah, yeah, exactly. Because yeah. imagine like if you go out with your friends, like with your Filipino friends, and then they're like ordering food and you'll be like, oh, I don't eat this, it's not good. Oh, I don't eat, come on. I, w I wouldn't even be want to go out with you. you. Yeah, you know? they wouldn't want to. Like, bro, it's like you went to my country. You yeah. don't even give value yeah. to our cuisine. Mm -hmm. You don't really like give value to our food. At least try. Yeah. You see, it, so that is one of the, like like this is also one of the thing that you should also. I mean, as a foreigner, whenever you go somewhere, try to adjust to the people's culture. Don't think yeah. like, oh, because I came from here, they should adjust to mine. Yeah. No, nope, that's wrong. So. Go to Manginasal, you're gonna eat chicken. Eat with your hands. Yeah. Eat in the Karinderia. Yeah. Like, yeah. A lot of eat. people see on my channel, I eat in the Karinderia, mm -hmm. guys. And let me tell you something it is not only when you watch me on camera that I eat in the Karinderia. Mm -hmm. My friends, they can bear witness to it. Mm. Even out, <laughs> even out of camera, mm. I eat in the yeah, car in there. Even, yeah. like, <laughs> even me, I still remember when I was like, uh, I mean, when I was in Batangas, yeah. uh, we, ne we normally used to buy in the plastic. Yeah, in the yeah. plastic. They just put food in the plastic. Yeah. I get home, I put on the plate, and I'm okay. eating. I don't oh, even yeah. do that. I mm. take my bottle to the car in there. Yeah. Yes. Okay, okay. I take my bottle to the uh -huh. Karinderia filled with water. I order mm -hmm. my food. I eat. In fact, they know me. I'm a customer. Yeah. They know mm -hmm. me already. And if I want to eat in an expensive restaurant, mm -hmm. I can go and eat in an expensive yeah. restaurant. But I just feel like it saves. I'm a student. Yeah. It saves me money to eat here, and yeah. it's, it's delicious. Because it's the same thing. You would be going to a, like a, a fancy yeah. resto, a resto. You're probably going to spend like two thousand, three thousand. <laughs> And then if you just go to this... Less than a hundred pesos. Less than hundred. In fact, you fool. in the province, you yeah. can spend like 50 pesos or less than yeah. a 50 pesos. Yeah. Less than 50 pesos for yeah. just a meal. Like, like, especially when I was in Batangas, I will just get long meat. I think long meat used to be 80 pesos. And long meat comes... Long meat. I don't know if yeah. you... If yeah, you, you told me. Yeah, already. you have tried. Like, long meat, you can be full the whole day. Yeah. Like, you eat that maybe, wow. let's say, 10 a.m., you're fine the whole day like you're really gonna be fine you don't yeah. need to be going out of or looking for food again you don't yeah. need to so guys adjust yourself yeah. to the cuisine too right my last reason why i love the philippines is because i kind of after looking at all my journey in the philippines mm -hmm. i kind of feel like it is god's purpose for me to be here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because i look at myself i feel like sometimes i've gone through some challenges before that i was doubting that mm -hmm. oh god why did you make me come here? Oh, but then at the end of the day, I saw that it was really God's purpose for me to be here. Like, no matter the challenges that I went through here, one way or the other, I, I am still able to survive. And you can also, you might be struggling, you might be in the Philippines now, mm -hmm. and be struggling. It's not forever. Yeah, it's Just not. Endure. No, it's not. It's not forever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I made a video with a guy. You guys saw my last video. The guy is also working now with Telus. Mm -hmm. He's a French guy. Mm -hmm. He's also an African mm -hmm. from um Cote d'Ivoire okay. yeah you know he came to the Philippines at 14 he was sponsored to be a soccer player but his team left him mm -hmm. stranded to the extent that they have to go to Jollibee to his left leftover mm. he went to Baklanga market he said they always eat there from the people like the food I've never seen a foreigner or a black person go to 
in Jollibee, Mangina, mm. South mm. to eat in yeah. leftover. But now he's living in a condo. He's he working. Has a Filipina girlfriend is working, is any money, is doing YouTube, mm -hmm. but he has a story to tell. Exactly. After exactly. all that he went through, he still saw that yeah. this is the place he should be. He's not going to give up, he's not going yeah. to leave. So, Philippines is this kind of country that will give you the kind of support, opportunity, you, opportunity you want. You might, ne you might not be able to survive in another country the same way you would survive here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you're going through any challenges and you are, you are broke, the only thing you need to do is to pack yourself to a province. Look for a province, pack yeah. yourself. There will always be people to help you. You can yeah. live a very low life there and pick yourself up, to, up, up again. Yeah, because I mean, what you're feeling right now, if there's a subscriber that is living abroad, yeah. He will probably relate like to it. Yeah. Like, he will relate himself yeah. to the story in yeah. which you just I mean mentioned because yeah. living abroad is not a five stars. Yeah. You will you, you won't always be on a cloud nine. Yeah. You won't. Because sometimes you will be also homesick as well. Yeah. And you will you will find challenges. <laughs> you will. Because it's not in your country. Yeah. You know, true. you might have the language barrier. You might have the culture barrier as well. Yeah. So, but what it will count is how you want it, how yeah. bad you want it. Mm -hmm. Do you get it? At work, like if they don't treat you good, there's some people that don't treat you good. Yeah. But you know, it's like it's the same way that us in school. Yeah. When we came here, when I came here, it's like, what brought me here? Mm -hmm. Why am I here? Mm -hmm. You see, because I started like in, I mean, in South Africa, it's wow. different. Yeah. Coming here, another culture. Yeah. So I already had that mind since I was yeah. 14 of my like of me adjusting. Yeah, to, different culture. Yeah, to, yeah. By the way, he is not South African. Yeah. He um, is from uh, Angola. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you thought I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> he is from Angola. Yeah, from he Angola. moved to South Africa. Yeah. No, no, no. For like Angola, I stayed in Namibia, Namibia. for six years. Namibia window, and then six years from I went Namibia. to South Africa for uh, for two years, almost three years, and then from South Africa to the Philippines. Philippines. So he has yeah. experienced different yeah. culture. Yeah. He knows the nitty gritty. He yeah. knows that you have to adjust. Ah. You have to look for a way to survive. Yeah, because yeah. it's like sometimes when we move, it's just like we want to feel like oh we got yeah, it. Yeah, we got it. No, it's like even in the no. first world countries, it's not no. a bed of roses. You have to put in the work. You have yeah. to struggle. You gotta work like. Because it's, this is not, because for me it's like, like how I feel is like, if I don't go out and try to look for things that can provide me money, how am I gonna survive here? Yeah. Do you get it? Because like, back home there's my mom's house, there's my, like my parents' house. I don't have to worry about nothing at all. Mm -hmm. Nothing, nothing. But this side, you think like at my age I'll still call my mom, oh. Yeah. I don't <laughs> We are adults, even no. me, I'm super young, but I do not, I yeah. do not want to call my parents to ask for nothing. Yeah, like, my mom, she's like, are you stupid? Like, no. <laughs> <You're> stupid. <laughs> like, so it's like, we really have to find ways of us to make it. So, even if you're abroad, if you're going through a hard time, everything happens for a reason, mm -hmm. and nothing comes to stay forever. But, yeah. See, so, motivate yourself, whatever dreams that you have, as, as we valid. said before. It's valid. You yeah. want to go to the United States? Go. You want to start going to the gym? Go. Oh. You want to open a YouTube channel? Go. go. <laughs> Everything just depends on you. Because yeah. if you're thinking like, if you're thinking like, oh, I need to wait for this person to come and tell me or to give me the opportunity, you will never get uh, it. Never. You will never get it. Opportunity are not to be given. Sometimes yeah. are to be Take earned. In. Or you you earn it. <laughs> you work for it. You yeah. go after it. So. That is just how life it is. Yeah. So Philippines, basically, we love the Philippines, and we feel like you can survive here. Yeah, you can. And if you're here yeah. already, you're going through hard times. Look. Take our examples. We're surviving. We're just, hustlers. Yeah, yeah, we are hustlers, guys. Yeah. I'm like, like I don't even want anybody to think that I have money or mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm us. I also. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. also for a never be, <laughs> I mean, never be comfortable with yeah. what we got. Like, we yeah. always want more. We want more. We, we want to, want, we want more. to reach the highest level because yeah. we feel like we have the potentials we do, yeah. and we can reach the highest heights we want to reach mm -hmm. and you can as well yeah. so if you're in the philippines or you are thinking or aspiring to come to the philippines mm -hmm. philippines is a good country it is the people are good they are accommodating they are loving you'd fall in love with the culture you'd fall in love with 
everything the food, in the Philippines, with the people, the food. with the islands, you know, there are different islands in which you can travel. Yeah, yeah. if you guys have not watched the video we, we made together, mm -hmm. you guys should go and watch, watch it so it, that yeah. you can have more idea, more idea. Yeah, about yeah. what we are saying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave the links yeah. in the description box, you should yeah. go and watch it. Yeah. Those videos will give you everything, our experience about why we love the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because in years it was just like a bit of, you know, of what's really making us stay here. Yeah. Of why we're not living so bad. Like if you want to know more about me, more about I mean about Dorcas as well, yeah. you go on that video and then you watch it. And, and make sure you subscribe you to Calvin's subscribe, channel. Yeah. You will because subscribe, yeah. guys, I'm actually so full mm -hmm. because yeah. I and Calvin just made a video. <laughs> yeah, we did. I, I don't want to I don't want to, you know, make it less interesting. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I want you to yeah. go to Calvin's channel. Watch the video. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because like I have I have two channels, as you know. Yeah. One is Calvin Kasha, which is a reaction channel, and the other one is Food Translator. Yeah. Which is a new channel. So I would appreciate if you guys go there. Yeah. Support. And we are just going the yeah. channel. We 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 have eaten Indian food here. But on the next video, I promise you guys, we will be eating a Filipino food. So Sinigang. Like, Sinigang. Linitan. Yeah, a Filipino breakfast. We will be bringing for you guys here, yes. like on the on the Food Translator channel. Mm -hmm. So you make sure that you subscribe. You mm -hmm. help the fam. Mm -hmm. no, no, no. Uh -huh. You okay, guys support. You guys support us. <laughs> and guys, we've come to the end of this yeah. video. And thank you so much for watching this far. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for supporting mm -hmm. us in the Philippines. Yes. Thank you so much for supporting mm -hmm. your favorite Nigerian girl in, in the, the Philippines. Philippines. Before so we guys, go, I just want to say this. You make sure, as she said, she want to stay here for long so you guys need to make sure that this channel hits million yes so share yes. this with the whole barangay you know the whole barangay the, the whole barangay you should tell them like your favorite nigerian girl is on youtube yeah introducing the philippine culture mm -hmm. to different nationalities yeah subscribe once again be gone anyway,